Now LWT Drama, open fire.
Can't we turn the clock back to the days when he patrolled the streets and we all slept safely in our beds? <laughs> well, it's a good question, and one I'd like to answer for you this afternoon. Ten weeks ago, we stopped a car in Wembley. In it, we found these. A Luger. A box knife. And these. What I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, is that crime, especially violent crime, is rising faster than at any time since the war. Sergeant Johnson, Chief Superintendent Young. From? Flying squad. You got a problem with it? No, sir. less predictable. And we have to be prepared to meet force with force if we are to fulfill our duties and give these fine officers and the public the protection they deserve. Wanker. Let's listen, shall we? So, it is with particular pleasure that I make these awards this afternoon. On Friday, 3rd of March, 1981, Detective Constable Peter Finch was one of several officers responding to a call regarding a suspected burglary at a bookmaker's premises in Green Lane, Paddington. On arrival, two men wearing balaclavas were seen leaving the building. With little or no regard for his own safety, Detective Constable Finch approached them and, despite being attacked with a knife, managed to make a successful arrest. Ladies and gentlemen, Detective Constable Finch. Any day now, Sergeant Finch. And then after a little bit of night school, right, it'll be Inspector Finch, Superintendent Finch, Finch of the Yard. <laughs> no, he'll have me calling him, sir, you know. Don't be stupid. No, he will. No, I'll go and round other kids, all right? Yeah. Well done, Sam. Thank you, sir. Not drinking? Uh, no, thanks, sir. All right, come on, kids. They love him, don't they? Yes, sir. But you don't think he's full of shit, don't you? Yes, sir. No, I mean, no, sir. Oh. Yeah, he used to be in traffic. Loves guns. Got the right idea, though. I'm going home now, sir, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, go on. First of many, son. Hey, we'll look after you, you know. Yeah, thanks. Well, isn't the great God Almighty flying squad? You haven't met Superintendent Naylor, have you, Terry? We'll be liaising with him, you know, in and out of each other's office. So what are you doing here? They call me Area Crime Advisor. What if I don't want any advice? Well, you know how it is. They used to have a CID in this town, then they sacked all the bent detectives and promoted the crawlers and the cowboys. Makes a lot of us redundant, really. A bit like George Dixon. What? Well, I suppose it is. Personally, I always quite rated George Dixon. He wouldn't last five minutes. Is that right? Well, I better be off. Oh, by the way. Yeah. What was your last piece of advice? Don't lose your head in a crime wave. Would be helpful, then. Eh? Well, bear that in mind. All right. More? Okay. Yeah, fine. Makes you think. What? What would have happened if you'd had a gun and not a knife? That'd be stupid.
right then. Come on in. Joking, weren't you? He was only joking. <laughs> 